you will join the First Order. By your own free will, or by mine. Hi everyone! Welcome back to another vlog from our recent visit to Disney World. This is vlog number 8, and it's all about Disney's Hollywood Studios. This park is themed to movies like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Toy Story, and more. Here are the different sections inside the park. We first went to Sunset Boulevard and tried two rides in this area. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror was probably one of the best rides we've ever tried in Disney World. This takes you on an elevator ride that drops you 13 stories. Now it might sound scary, but when you're there, it's actually fun. Our next ride was the Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. This is a high-speed roller coaster ride featuring Aerosmith's music. After exploring Sunset Boulevard, we decided to head straight to our most awaited section in this park, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Before getting there, we passed by the very cute Toy Story Land. And here it is guys, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Once you're inside, it'll really feel as if you have been transported to a galaxy far, far away. Galaxy's Edge is based on the Star Wars planet Batu. This place is nestled on the galaxy's outer rim. Stormtroopers! When you think of Star Wars, the first thing that comes to mind is not just the galaxy, but also the cool spaceships. Here you will see some of the coolest Star Wars spaceships at full scale, and it is truly epic. For lunch, we went to Ronto Roasters and tried their famous Ronto wrap. The sausage and pork combined with tangy slaw wrapped in a soft pita bread tasted so good. This is definitely a must try. If Universal Studios has butter beer from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Disney's Galaxy's Edge has the legendary blue and green milk. If you've seen Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope, then you might remember the scene where Luke Skywalker was drinking blue milk. The blue milk tasted like a fruit punch, and it was creamy. We actually liked this one. In The Last Jedi, there's a scene where Luke drank green milk. The green milk in Galaxy's Edge looks more yellowish than green. We didn't like this drink that much. We think that this is more of an acquired taste. These actually remind me of slushies. Your trip to Galaxy's Edge won't be complete without trying these drinks. Good. You will join the First Order. By your own free will, or by mine. If you're wondering where to buy sweet and savory snacks in this area, then you can try the flavored popcorn from Katsaka's Kettle. Everything in this place is themed to Star Wars, even their bottle for sodas. Star Tours The Adventures Continue. This simulator ride is located in Echo Lake and it has been in the area even before Disney opened Galaxy's Edge. You have your boarding pass? You all have your boarding pass. Please make 
make sure you have your boarding pass handy. I'm kidding! You don't need a boarding pass. Welcome to Star Tours. After that, we saw the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. This is a 30-minute show featuring stunt performers giving you a glimpse of what it's like filming the adventures of Indiana Jones behind the scenes. And from what we've seen, it's a jaw-dropping show. You should definitely see this when you're in Hollywood Studios. We went back to Sunset Boulevard to watch a live performance of Beauty and the Beast. Another Star Wars related place that is located outside of Galaxy's Edge is the Star Wars Launch Bay. You'll find this store inside the Animation Courtyard section. Here you can buy Star Wars merchandise. Walt Disney Presents Gallery and Exhibits is also in this area. If you want to know some facts about Walt Disney or the development of Disney World, then make sure to check this place out. We wanted to see Galaxy's Edge at night, so we went back to this area. And we bought Ronto Wraps again because we really loved it. If you're wondering how big the Millennium Falcon is inside Galaxy's Edge, Here's a video to give you an idea of the scale. It's 110 feet long. It's enormous. If you're planning on visiting Galaxy's Edge, don't forget to take a selfie in front of this iconic spaceship. For our dinner, we went to Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. Here's what we ordered. Batuan Beef Pot Roast, Endorian Fried Chicken Tip Yip, and Batu Bun. The Batuan beef pot roast was delicious. The beef was juicy and tender, and it's actually a good combination with the pasta. We also liked the Andorian fried chicken. Just like the beef, the breaded chicken was thick and tender. Their mashed potatoes were creamy and rich. Five stars for this delicious meal. For dessert, we ordered the Batu bun. If you're a chocolate lover, this is a must try. At night, the Tower of Terror is transformed into a gingerbread house using colorful projections. Before leaving the park, we watched Fantasmic. This is a 25-minute show featuring characters, water effects, fireworks, and music. If you're a Star Wars fan or any Disney movie, this is one of the best theme parks that you should visit. That's it for vlog number 8. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Next vlog will be about Disney's Magic Kingdom. If you want to be notified when a new video has been published, simply hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks for watching! Bye!